better than that. Everybody. After a very long day and night rolling through the Utah desert, the boys' spirits are high as they prepare to travel through Nevada and into California. With a little bit of luck, and the good Lord willing, and if the river don't rise, they should be at the Alpine Meadows Aquatic Check Station long before sundown. They must be. Bump back a day, there are no more appointment times available for inspection if they're late. Finally, the team can do some real broken field running as the route across two-thirds of Nevada is mostly four-lane interstate. Still, to clear an occasional low bridge, the truck must exit the highway, cross over, then merge back on to keep moving west. All in all, the boys will have to do this eight times today. The two-way radios that Team Hurricane use have a range of about seven miles so Ian keeps Tom two to three miles in front of him for this exact reason. I just hit the bridge with my pole. Now, my pole is, uh, is raised six inches higher than the boat. So I'm backing up to see how far down I hit the bridge on my pole to see if the boat can fit underneath the bridge. Trouble! Tom just hit a bridge that Nevada said the boat would clear. Big old yacht. Tom slowly backs up and checks the bridge height. This is the most dangerous aspect of this job, and Ian isn't happy that his team has their you-know-whats hanging out in the wind. It's got a lip inside of it, that's what I'm hitting. The first one, I'm right at the six inches. That's what I'm afraid of. Do you think the other side's any, any better? You're clear for a second if you want to check lane one. To be 100% sure, Tom gets out to measure the bridge on foot. A former trooper, Tom has spent over 25 years on the side of busy highways. Ian doesn't want any of his people doing this, but right now, they don't have a choice. All right, the bridge is right at 16 feet, nine inches. It's about the same. Ah, this is not good. Being this close to the finish line, there's no taking chances with the bridge, especially with the highway descending to a shallow valley just a few hundred yards before it. Westbound traffic, rolling at speeds well over 80 miles an hour, would have only a fraction of a second to see the team crawling under the bridge. Yeah, let's, let's not chance it. Let's I mean, it'll be dangerous, but let's, let's, I'm going to back up. Let's get over this service road and go around it. Somebody missed this bridge, that's for sure. Does the service road run all the way straight, follow the same direction as the, the road here? Yeah, it's similar to what we just did back there at Battle Mountain, only uh, a lot shorter. 
Copy that. I'll start backing up myself. The only option? Back the rig up a quarter of a mile along the side of I-80 to a service road exit behind them. Without being able to see behind him, Ian relies on Tom to guide him backing up and keep him out of the lane of travel while staying away from the steel snow markers on the side of the road. Cross, further back still, gets out to flag drivers into the passing lane to avoid an accident. They did it. Nice job, boys. Now that's great teamwork in action. True to life, all good things must come to an end. The good thing in this case is the four-lane interstate. More unexpected road construction on an 8% downhill grade. Praise the Lord, Team Hurricane made it to California. While the team stays dry, California checks the big yacht for zebra mussels. Good to go, or maybe not so fast. What's that? Can I push the trailer brakes in? Just tell me if you hear anything back there. Copy. Cleared to go by the California inspectors, Ian can't move the truck. When he releases the parking brake, there's a major air leak that bleeds off 110 pounds of air in just seconds. Staying in the truck to keep the air pressure built up, Ian talks to Cross by walkie-talkie to determine the source of the leak. Uh, uh, jump back in. Let me... Cross doesn't find anything leaking on the trailer, so the boys try it again. All right. Um. So we're at the California inspection, or one of them. Um. And while we were getting inspected, the Ion did not engage the parking brake. He just kept his foot on the pedal, uh, which releases air out of the airlines. So right now we're just making sure. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that we can still hold air and uh, just regain air, and we didn't have any leaks in the airlines or anything like that. So, but everything checked out, and uh, we're good to go. You got an 18 coming. Air pressure, God damn it. The leak is a major one. If they can just find out where it's coming from. This time, Cross checks the truck axles and suspension, and he finds the problem. The right front brake chamber has a major leak. Frustration mounts. The team is just three miles from their exit off I-80, and it's just another 15 miles from there to the Alpine Meadows inspection yeah. station. So close, yet still so far away. But until the brake chamber is fixed, the truck, boat, and entire team aren't going anywhere.
While Ian searches for someone who can come out and fix the issue, Cross heads back to the scale house to see if they can recommend someone local. Little booster, can't hold air. Truck's parked till we get it fixed. Damn. Yup. Turns out we're not going anywhere. Hey everybody, we're here in California at the Truckee Scale. Uh, no issues, came right through the scale. Uh, came through the agricultural station, uh, checked for zebra mussels, no zebra mussels, but <laughs> as fate would have it, as we were getting ready to pull out of here, we lost air pressure and we couldn't move. So we determined that we have a uh, pancake or what, a brake chamber that's leaking. And uh, so as soon as we push in the brakes, the air pressure drops and we can't move. So unfortunately we're stuck here until we get a uh, roadside service call um, we're only 30 miles away from our delivery. Uh, we hoped we would have been there by now. Um, unfortunately, this is all part of the experience. Uh, again, the boat is so big, there's only one check station at Tahoe that can handle it. So that's why we're even here at the Truckee scale. Uh, and then we're going into Tahoe, get inspected. Then we're actually gonna leave California, go back into Nevada, go south, and come back into Tahoe uh, from, the, from the south. So um you know this stinks it sucks uh the service uh center or the uh roadside service has terrible reviews so we're crossing our fingers um but the bottom line is we're really happy that this happened right here on level ground we've been coming down six seven percent grades uh with this big monster for the better part of three days so if that would have happened uh coming down a hill uh, we would have either uh, wrecked it or been in an emergency uh, truck ramp, and that's nowhere anybody wants to be. So, uh, we thank the man upstairs for watching over us. Uh, if it had to happen, this is the best place for it to happen. Now we're just hoping that uh, Earl, the, uh, the uh, mobile service guy, is a good guy and uh, gets us going, and we'll uh, be in Tahoe before sundown. So, we'll see. Stay tuned. So, the people that they recommended are just basically just a towing company so they're like do you need towed i'm like no we don't need towed right. so they're like okay well we recommend this uh, sharma's roadside service i said okay so without checking their reviews i called them and the guy's like okay but he's like but you know we've had a lot of people that have canceled on us so we need a credit card deposit and i'm like fine so he's like okay it's good we'll have somebody out there in 60 90 minutes and i'm like okay but and then the guy goes no it'll be sooner than that and i'm like all right that's fine i'm like can you tell me your text name it's earl right. i'm like okay well, can you tell me like what's he driving well it's gonna be a white truck and it says sharma's roadside service on it. i'm like okay well what kind of truck is it she's it's a girl she's like i don't know so anyway so then i get online and read the reviews oh my god one star they are just lighting these people. I'm like, oh my God. So I tried to call somebody else. He didn't speak English. He was gonna come take the part and then go get another part. And I'm like, no, no. So then I called another guy. He spoke English. He's like, dude, I don't have anybody to send up there. It'll be morning. I'm like, no. So anyway, we're hoping Earl shows up. <laughs> so I'm just giving you a heads up. So this guy's gonna film Earl if he shows up. So if he screws us, at least it'll be all over YouTube. So. <laughs> if he shows. <laughs> Let's hope Earl gets here soon. Our hero arrives. As the sun gets lower in the sky, and with the aquatic inspection pushed back to the last possible appointment tomorrow morning, I had considered caging the chamber to get moving. This isn't something he would ever do, but it's truly getting down to crunch time. Okay, can you tell me like what's he driving? Well, it's gonna be a white truck and it says Sharma's roadside service. How's your day going? It was, it was going to perfectly fine until we uh, started losing a little bit of air. Actually a lot, a lot of air. <laughs> and then waited two hours for this guy to show up. Yeah. Better. Whole new check.
chamber. We're not gonna. I don't know these roads. Right. And we're not gonna go down through here. Right. All right. I've been taking care of that. Well, don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dave. Don't get ahead of ourselves. Well, <laughs> I just mean. Don't need to jinx yourself anymore. Yeah. Shay, if you don't get that damn camera out of my face, <laughs> I'm gonna break it. <laughs> I thought you loved the camera. He says the exact same thing. You should have just put some vice grips on yeah, it. It's no, not they'll make it. Pressure. It stops the leak, or it stops it air stops going air into the chamber. Pressure. So therefore, there's no air in the chamber to leak out. I was just watching a video. If he didn't show up, I was going to come out here and crawl under and cage it. Yeah. However, when he crawled under the truck, the leak was on the wrong side of the chamber. So caging's not even an option. The entire chamber's got to be replaced. No, you got to put a bolt in it. Yeah. And you yeah. twist it. And you twist and it. And then you make sure it comes it. back. No, it's really cool, actually. You put the, this weird bolt in with a weird head, and you twist it, and then you bring it back, and then it pushes in on the spring. Right. And then you take a vice grip, and you hold the, the service line coming in, and then it yeah, keeps right. it. But that's fine to do with your empty wear. When you have a $3 million yacht, and you're in the middle of the mountains. You don't want to do that. No. It would get you off the side of the road. <laughs> Have you ever heard about the common peronium? <laughs> While Earl swaps out the brake chamber, Ian and Tom try to figure out their dance card for the month of July. We've got a scheduled completion date on July 11th. So okay. we might go to Virginia and then come home. We actually get a day home? Yeah. You said I'll go anywhere all summer. I told you. I will. <laughs> well, it's on film now. Well, now it's on July. <laughs> I say we start moving the 5th. We get there. The 5th is what, Wednesday? So the 7th is, uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah. What day did you say it'd be ready? You said the 11th. The 11th? I don't believe it. Well, yeah, so that'll give us a few days. Because we'll probably get... Where do you think we'll be the fourth? Or I assume we're spending the fourth on the road. No. Uh, because we'll, we'll try and go to Lake Ozarks. And just stay there. Yeah. We're the fourth. If we can. People are gonna be like, "Why don't you guys fix this shit yourself?" I'm not Tim B. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about mechanics. See, that's a great line from. From uh, yeah. Kelly's Heroes. Well, I just ride on them, man. Yeah. I don't know what makes them work. I just drive the <laughs> escort truck, man. Hi, man. What are you doing? I'm drinking wine and eating cheese and catching some rays, you know. What's happening? Well, the tank's broken and they're trying to fix it. You know? Then why the hell aren't you up there helping them? Oh, man. I only ride them. I don't know what makes them work. Oh, creeps. Definitely an anti-social type. Yeah, we're, the, we're coming through construction zones, and they're like, he's going to knock over every one of those damn barrels, and then you yes, through this. They were like, he didn't even hit one. <laughs> You know how close we are to our exit? Probably really close. Three miles. Three miles? Three miles. How far do we have to go down to our hotel? 50. Oh, you said a little drive. Might as well just take the truck. It's 18 to where we're going okay. with this thing. I don't know. When Charlie Daniels gets done here, we'll uh, put the side. We're on pull. Huh? Yeah, it's not that far. <laughs> Gonna take his job. Well, no, Mr. Can't see at night. I can't see at night. Nobody could see last time. <laughs> no. That rain was horrible. That was good. the line for the bag is soaked. I didn't I even think about it. When I pulled it out, I, I should have wrapped, wrapped it in. Yeah, I didn't think about it either. That's all the girls are gonna write in on this video. None of you guys thought about the girls' luggage. <laughs> the only female team member is Ian's sister, Heather. With no space inside the escort vehicles, 
Her bag, the largest, rides on the trailer, unwrapped, through several rainstorms. If you're wondering if chivalry is dead, now you have your answer. With the sun setting behind the mountains, I have made the call to press on to Alpine Valley. California allows night travel, but that doesn't mean... Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. Gonna stand my ground. Won't be turned around And I'll keep this world from dragging me down Gonna stand my ground And I won't back down Hey, baby There ain't no easy way out Hey will stand my ground and I won't back down Well I know what's right I got just one life in a world that Keeps on pushing me around But I stand my ground And I won't back down Hey, baby There ain't no easy way